I guess today's the day. Cinequil, good morning. Yesterday I did some checking around. It turns out that the Hill of Agents is apparently in the Great Canyon. We should go there right away. Off to the Great Canyon. Huh? What's the matter? Listen, Mudkip. I gotta ask you something. Huh? Huh? Well, it's just... Why do you try so hard? Why? What do you need to ask? Is it for yourself or for someone else? Someone else? Come on. What do you think I am? We're friends, aren't we, Cinequil? I want to do my best because it's for you, Cinequil. That's what this is about. So as always, let's try our best to do well. That's really all it takes, huh? Interesting. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of the Ancients is on the 13th floor. Satu should be there. Cinequil, let's do our best. We spent the entire day making our way up the Great Canyon in order to reach the Hill of the Ancients where a Pokemon named Zatu was supposed to be. To be honest, I felt a little guilty about the whole thing. We were wasting an entire day that could have been spent doing rescue work. And for a trip that was all for my sake, who knows if Zatu even has the answers that we're looking for, or if I even want to know them to begin with. Where I came from, who I was, how to go back to the human world. I'm not worth all this trouble, am I? That fight with Zapdos opened my eyes to just how turbulent some of these rescue missions can get. What if there are even more Pokemon in situations like that? Or even worse? And what if one like that was on the bulletin board today? What if their request never gets taken because I wasn't there for them today? It was obvious to Mudkip that I was upset about this. They tried to get me to calm down, but I still felt guilty for the work that I wasn't doing. Mudkip said that I should instead focus on what I have done. Like I said before, the reason that more than one rescue team exists is because no single rescue team could possibly solve all of the world's crises on their own. We all need to play our part, so if I'm not doing a rescue mission today, then that's okay. Because even if I can't make a difference in the lives of every Pokemon, I still have made a difference in one and continuing to try is what matters most. I don't even know how Mudkip can put up with me most of the time. Even though I'm more or less adjusted to my life here, I'm still so lost and scared. But Mudkip remains calm in just about every situation. Hmm. Perhaps their reaction to Jumpluff mentioning a monster in the Silent Chasm was just an act that was meant to help calm me down. It wasn't like Mudkip to act that way. They're usually so calm and level-headed, but maybe they did that just so I wouldn't feel so alone in all of my fears and insecurities. And look where we are now. We made it. We survived that terrifying chapter of our lives, and are now headed towards a whole new one. What in the world did I ever do to deserve a friend like Mudkip? Perhaps the answer to that question will also be at the top of this hill. I don't know what to expect but it's something I have to face. I need to know, and no matter what the truth may be, it's nice to know that I'll have my friends by my side. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Cinequil. This is the Hill of Ancients. Look, over there! Cinequil. Is that Satu over there? Excuse me, are you maybe Satu? Hello? M maybe he doesn't hear me. He hello? Hello? 
Hello! It's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet? Cinequil, what should we do? Well, attacking him would probably not be very kind, so... Tickle him? Huh? Tickle him? Oh, okay. Worth a try. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 He's finally laughing now. Is he just dense? That's one way of putting it. Yikes! Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Deed, I am Zatu. You discerned my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guess your identity. That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are... human, yes? Huh? How can you tell that? All day, I stare at the sun unblinking. It gives me sight for all things. The past and the future, too. If you know, please tell us, Satu. Next to me is my friend, Cinequil. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon. And without any memory, as a human. Zatu, you can tell, can't you? Please tell us. The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And you're becoming a Pokémon. They are tied together. Inseparably so. Wait, Cynical becoming a Pokémon and... The natural disasters? Are related? What do you mean? What does Cynical have to do with natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? Why do you clam up? Please tell us, please. There are bigger concerns, I am afraid. The world's balance, it must be restored, or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You're serious? The world? The unthinkable is coming? Every day I see it. The same future every day. I dread it. Z Zatu. I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? That Cyndaquil was human. That's gonna be useful. This should be interesting. 